So welcome everyone to one more edition of our Student Algebraic Geometry <laughs> Seminar at INPA. Today it's a very special edition. It's our first edition which will be recorded. And it's my pleasure to introduce Claudia Rodrigues, which we have met in a summer course at ECMC <laughs> in News some years ago, uh, taking uh, analysis in RN. And now it's a pleasure to introduce her as a colleague at INPA. So uh, Claudia took uh, her undergraduate degree and bachelor and teaching degree in mathematics at ECMC in USP. And now uh, she is taking her master's at INPA under the supervision of Carolina Araujo. And today she will talk about the conjectures of Mahler and Viterbo and be terrible. So, Claudia, go go ahead. Thank you. Hi, my name is Claudia. Today, I will talk about two conjectures, the conjectures of Myler and the conjectures of Viterbo. They are interesting topics because they are still open issues. In the first view, there seems to be no overlap since each one's work with different areas of mathematics and my research will be to analyze a theorem that relates both of them. Um, this is a part of an article called the From Sympathetic Measurement to the Mahler Conjectures, right by Ostrover, um, which was published in 2014. We are going to summarize the presentation with three parts. First of all, we will talk about Mahler conjectures. We will define the Mahler volume and the conjecture state that the minimum possible Mahler volume is attained by a hypercube. The two dimensional case of a Mahler conjecture has been solved by Mahler in 19. 39 and the three dimensional cases by Shibata in 2020, in the last year. The second point here will be to analyze Viterbo conjectures published by Viterbo in 2000. And uh, for that, we will have to study the following two definitions simple geometry and capacity. Um, last, um, but not least, the main result will be the Viterbo conjectures implies the Mahler conjecture. Um, given a X and dimensional normal space, and let X star be its dual vector space, define the Mahler volume as Vx equals to volume b times b0, where b and b0 are the unit balls of x and x dual. Um, uh, the Mahler conjecture says, says for any any dimensional normal space x, we have vx uh, greater than or equal to 4 to n divided by factorial n. It is this number. It is exactly the value when x equal rn. And we have the unit balls with the Euclidean norm. Before we state the Viterbo conjecture, uh, we first need to recall some relevant background and definition from symplectic geometry. Um, a symplectic manifold is a smooth manifold equipped with a closed non-degenerated to form omega called the symplectic form. Uh, for now, uh, a symplectic manifold is a pair M omega where M is a smooth manifold and omega is a symplectic uh, form. Um, one more point here, the symplectic manifold has an even dimension, 
because the Derbu theorem. The second one, uh, we need to know about capacity. A symplectic capacity on R2N associates to each U in R2N a number CU in the closet in interval zero to infinity, such that the following three properties hold. P1, uh, the monotonicity, uh, CU, is less than or equal to CV for U in V. P2, C, V, U, is equal to a alpha norm CU for phi a different morphism so that the pullback satisfies this equality. Um, the first two pairs uh, would be able us to define an identically zero capacity, but we don't want to have these singularities. Uh, which would not bring us great results. Therefore, the third properties eliminates us from these uh, singularities. Um, just the P3 property is about non-triviality and normalization. And C, ball of two dimension with the center in the origin and radius r is equal to c symplectic cylinder of radial r equals to pr squared um these two these two next examples show that there exists a capacity and that it's not unique. Mm. The Gromov width defined by T underline U is equal to sub P R square bow of two dimensional and radio R. So that you symplectic embedding in symplectic cylinder of radio R. Mm. Finally, the simplex conjecture says, um, let K be the class of convex domain in R2N. Um, this then for any simplex capacity C and any convex body sigma, this relation of capacity is less than or equal to this relation of volume. It is the Viterbo conjecture. In sum, uh, the difference between the Mahler and the Viterbo conjecture is one is in convex geometry and other in the simplex geometry and with these inequalities. The main results after what we have seen is this table. The Viterbo conjectures imply the Mylar conjecture. We will define the Hofer Zender capacity, which was defined by Hofer and Zender 
it is a ba it is based on the properties of periodic orbits of a Brennington system. Um, let n omega be a connected simpad manifold without boundary, and the node, the set of all non-negative uh, Hamilton functions whose support is a proper compact in M and which attain their maximum on some open set. The next definition uh, we will call H admissible if the corresponding Hamilton flow has no non-constant tip pyro orbits with a pyro t less than or equal one. Then the hoffer zender capacity of M omega is defined by the soup of the all admi uh, admissible aids. A uh, closet, uh -huh. we will define now the definition of a billiard trajectory. Uh, to define a closed KT um, billiard trajectory, consider, um, consider KT to convex set. KG2 convex set and the following fields um, this following fields uh, consider Q in K interior and P in the T board or Q in uh, Um, RQ in K board and P in T interior. For example, uh, here, index example, uh, consider P in T board and Q in K interior. Take the norm of P in the board of T. Now, carrying this direction with a positive orientation to key from Q. This direction of norm uh, with carrying this direction with a positive orientation to Q from Q. Here, we use this uh, we here here we will the same direction and the orientation we will meet a q point in key board we get this new q point and um, now we will get a norm of this new q take this direction with the same orientation to P in T, the set T. We will meet a point P in T board. Uh, get a norm of this new P. Take this direction with a positive orientation to Q in K and we'll meet a key, a Q point in K border. Take this direction with the same orientation to P in T and go on this process. Then when we take a norm here, we will change the right to left with the other orientation and from left to right we will 
uh, caring with the same uh, orientation. Go on with this process. A closed KT billiard trajectory is the image of this smooth math. I call characterization, characterization of a Hofer capacity in this case because with this Rickstrom, Rickstrom about convex geometry, which consider sigma in R to N, a convex bounded domain with a smooth boundary sigma and in which we can define CAZ as the minimal closed orbit trajectory of um, in the boarding. Uh, later, we will stack the proof of the following lemma. It says CAZ of this is equal to four. Other claim, um, CAZ, ball of two n dimension in radius one, is equal to P. In fact, P is the inf of P, right? With these properties, and this is the smallest, smallest capacity of all in particular it is the smaller than uh, CHZ in which is the same is the smaller than the largest of all capacities as the radius is one so it is equals to a uh, sub of the P constants and it is P. So we get the claim. Let's, uh, um, let's see the proof of the main theorem, which says the Viterbo conjectures imply the Mahler conjectures. Assume that the Viterbo conjectures holds. Um, Notes that for to n divided by p to n is equal to this extending for to chz um, according with the lamb. And according to the last clan, we, we can replace p. by CHZ. Now, by Viterbo, the capacities relation is less than or equals to the volume relations. The next step is using the classical result of unique ball volume is P to N divided by factorial n. Then we get these results. We get the Mahler conjectures. Now I will show a step of the lamb. Uh, the fact that CAZ is at most four volumes from the verified fact that for any P in T board, the closed path P, P has lengths exactly four. So uh, we have that part of the lamb, which we wanted to prove it is equal. Now, 
two two counts of the lengths to be exactly four, we can give you an abstract a geometry views. Uh, look at this length. I have a one here. I want to know the uh, smaller trajectories. Then I will start with uh, P here, and I have one here, one length here. Carry two here. Count more one here. Back with one more. And counting three. And for finishing close trajectory, we get four. Then we start and finish in the same point. We have a closed path within the uh, smaller with the length four. To show that any um, billiard trajectory in K has length at least four, it is a 10 for another presentation because it is a large result using billiard trajectories. I use this reference by Ostrover and by Ana Canas da Silva. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Claudia. Let's thank our speaker for this beautiful talk. Nice, Claudia. So I, I, will, I will end this recording now.